Okay, here we are. Saturday afternoon, October the 12th, 2013. October's flying by. Yeah, and pretty soon, I know Halloween is in the air, my favorite time of year. You got the three day package. You have uh, Halloween, All Hallows Eve, followed by All Souls Day, fo uh, followed by the uh, the Day of the Dead, La Parka. Woo! Isn't that so, little Billy Bones? That, that's his favorite holiday. This Mr. La Parka over here. Well, they had uh, in, New, in New Jersey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I believe a couple of days ago or whatever, mm -hmm. they had these zombies marching. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I think too many too many zombie movies have created a, of, a a zombie craze. following a cult. Zombie craze. Like yeah. instead of, like instead of having Trekkies go to Star Trek conventions, we have zombie conventions. What what do we what would we call them? Zombieists? I don't know. Ooga boogas? Zombies. Oh, and you a zombie is? <laughs> no, you're trying to do Bella Lugosi. I am no. No, I'm not doing Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi. I'm I don't doing, drink wine. I'm doing a slight. This is my slight. This is my slight FM voice. And zombies have a a, a, a voice for radio. Zombies? No, they just. Oh, uh, like uh, just when wrong. Boris Karloff played Frankenstein. Yeah. Uh, uh, drink, good, drink, good. Food, good. good, wine, good, kill, young fire, girl. Ooh, uh, remember that? Kill, <laughs> young girl, ooh, oh, ooh. me need bride, uh, Frankenstein. All right, listen, young Frankenstein, that was Peter Boyle, right? Peter Boyle, yeah. And Marty Feldman, the one with the eyes bulging out, bulging out? Yeah, that was Peter Boyle, God rest his soul. Uh, Anyway, before I begin, I would like to a uh, moment of silence for this uh, the uh, NFL football player uh, on the Minnesota Vikings whose uh, little toddler son was murdered by uh, the, the mother's boyfriend. And I saw pictures of him with his son wearing a Vikings helmet, playing with his son, and showing affection. It's, I mean, I kill, I kill the guy for real. I mean, but moment of silence for the child and for the father. He's still playing. He didn't he take he leave. He doesn't want to discuss it now. Yeah, he, 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 but he's playing and I give him what the intestinal fortitude he's, you know, he's uh, conjuring up. Well, let's, let's hope he's not. To be able to play. Let's hope he's not, uh, I mean, he's being hurt and everything, but covering it over. You know what I mean? repressing it and maybe and I I'm being that I have a real sharp mind no. I'm very observant uh -oh. I think the mother might be partially responsible for this because what kind of a man I mean for a man to do this to a toddler there has to be a series of of Deep, serious. I mean, now, what is flaws it, yeah, in this man. Why does she date a guy like this? You mean to tell me that? Uh, th what this, is the situation, though? There must be other telltale signs with this boyfriend that killed the the, the child. But I mean, couldn't she see that something was wrong with this man what before was, she dated him? What was her relationship to the other guy, the father? She's, she before this ex. because the father. He's an ex. Gave the son, you know, to babysit. They were babysitting the son. So the so he had cust so, so he had custody of, of the child. I don't know what the situation. I don't know is. what. I'm asking. Regardless, regardless, the kid was murdered by yeah. the by his mother's boyfriend. Right. Why did she date this bum, this scoundrel? Weren't there other telltale signs that something was wrong with women, this man? Women always go for the bad boy. Well. There, there's, there are the results, one of many, for women that prefer the bad boys. Yeah. And, 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 and who suffers? The children suffer, and the innocent suffer. So, you know, that's it. Anyway, moment of silence. Okay. 
Um, thank you for joining us. This is Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madonna, and I will formally pipe aboard my co-host and mentor and the very founder and managing editor. You may need that today. Okay. The very founder and managing editor of Newsletter Censored. Start. Oh. Start. Don't interrupt. You and Billy Moore. Yeah, what? but of which the brand new issue is on. Of the course, stand I'm going to mention. Of course, I'm going to mention the brand new issue. Give me a chance. Right. What do you think? I'm an auctioneer. I'm going to say. <laughs> Give me a chance. My mother does the same thing. She interrupts. She cuts me off. She has a newsletter. No, she just cuts me off. Oh. She's hard of hearing too. Well, she doesn't wear. She, and she doesn't put on the hearing aid that, that me and my sister got her. And because she, she don't know how to tune it, there's a little knob on it. You tune it until you hear, Doot! and then you slowly back it up. I mean, it's not rocket science. You know. Anyway. Hearing aid. What? It's hearing aid. What'd you say? What? You know, you know what they say about people who are hard of hearing. They they only hear what they want to hear. It's true. It's sex. You mean sex makes your heart You mean hear. sex unclogs your your makes it better or makes it worse? No, she no. We know why she lost some of her hearing yeah. from from the damn radiation treatment when she was sick. Yeah. 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 And now we have things like proton therapy and you know the radio wave therapy. You know the, where they zap the cancer cell, they zap the tumor without damaging surrounding area, which is a wonderful thing. Uh, however, cancer is not the tumor. Why did the why did the prick oncologist recommend old-fashioned radiation therapy? Is that's all he has in his arsenal. Well, then he radiation sucks. Radiation therapy and cutting and chemo. Chemo. Because he sucks. He's incompetent. Well, once you get to be a like a doctor or something of that nature, a, a certain caliber in your life. You oh, don't want to go to school anymore. Oh, look at me. I'm older and established and right. I'm bo and I'm board certified. Right. I don't I don't need to learn anything That's new. That's correct. So we're talking about ego and arrogance. Yeah. And Just, business. Remember, I the doctor today is a businessman. Just like the the the, the people in Washington, just like Everything that has to do with American capitalism today, it's all about profit over people and the planet. We said it so many times. Let me let me get this formality over with. I am going to pipe aboard the interrupter and I'm sorry. My the interrupter in chief. My co host and mentor and the founder of Newsletter Censored in nineteen seventy seven, which happens to be the brand new issue is hot off the pancake griddle. Right now, get your n brand new issue because it just came out. Mm -hmm. And and the title of uh, this quarter's the newsletter, attack on the poor. The attack on the poor. Yeah. Anyway, my authentic bosun's whistle. I will pipe him aboard. I hope that doesn't wake the dog up. Ahoy matey and welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this Saturday? I'm here. This autumn Saturday, this this lovely... Bushy tailed and bright eyed. Lovely, uh, dry... No, it is a lovely day today. It's dry. 70 it's, degrees. It's breezy, it's clear, and Eight it's mile dry. An hour breeze. The sun's out and it's dry. Yeah, it's a nice day. Dry which means I don't like humidity. I, I despise it. Well, we do need a little rain. We we got rain. The, 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 no, we didn't. Early this week. How much damn rain? South did? got it. We did not. I got it. It moved. Actually, it moved west. It moved west. Don't you remember Monday and Tuesday? But it wasn't enough. I got the rain. It wasn't enough. And I only live minutes from this guy. It wasn't enough. Uh, yeah, you're right. You mean the reservoirs are low? <laughs> Reservoirs? Mm -hmm. Oars? What's, what's the proper pronunciation? Mm -hmm. And remember, hopefully, think, uh, maybe, 
Uh, if we get uh, rain, we won't get a lot of snow. Oh, really? Uh, so what you're trying I'm to say I'm is hoping. a wet autumn yeah, equals a mild winter, which that might be nice, which might happen because of global warming. Well, I don't know if it's global warming, but it would be nice. Or, or if it doesn't happen, then all the tea baggers will be screaming. I told you the environmentalists are full of shit. <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll use that as a reason for disclaiming, discrediting global warming. Hmm. Okay, I don't have much to say in my monologue. And lauding the Koch brothers. Oh, screw those demons. They, they should call them the cock-sucking brothers because they, when you look at them, they're... You know, it's incredible just how selfish the very few extremely rich people are that they, all they think about is amassing making their fortunes bigger than what it is at the expense of the po the world's population and controlling the government that too which they simply buy by their um, their support by buying the their congress people they're Republican sympathizers. Yeah, they're the first to take the bribe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, The wow. first. Not the only Isn't ones to take it. Hey. Not the only ones to take the bribe. That's what we should be calling campaign contributions. Bribes. Because well, from, that's what they are. Well, from now on, we will call them bribes. Call us. Pay to speak. On a much larger scale, but bribes nevertheless. Right. Okay. That's correct. All right, let me start. Newark, New Jersey has um, this law, which uh, doesn't sound fair to me. Mm -hmm. Panhandlers have to get a permit, and the ACLU says it's unconstitutional. No kidding, not only unconstitutional, uh, oh. that like, sounds like Scott Walker in, in Wisconsin too, when you want to go protest, you, you can't have more than four people, and then you got to buy a permit. What, a, what the hell? What a, Panhandlers don't have money to buy a permit. What about South Carolina that makes uh, that ho too. they make homelessness illegal? And Hackensack, New Jersey. Homelessness is Hackensack, illegal. Hackensack, New Jersey. They want them out of the limelight, baby. Where Off they, the street. Where are they supposed to live? They don't care. In a shelter, right? The, maybe they can go down to Lakewood and and move into a tent. With some of the veterans down there. Well, if they okay. put if they put them in um in a local or county cell, at least they have shelter. It's better than a cardboard box, right? Uh you see what's happening to the prisoners down in Guantanamo? What? What is happening? They're getting fat, diabetes, lazy, etc., etc. They're getting sick. That's from the because uh, of the food. That's from the shit. Yeah. A food pantry, uh, government-run food crap crap which is probably no it's not probably it is what food pantries offer yes. low-income people unfortunately yes because the people that run the food pantries told me over the phone that their objective is not nutrition their objective is filling bellies filling the bellies they 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 only package foods that are considered filling like let's say carbs craft macaroni and cheese you know, white pasta, white flour, and processed cheese, you know, like uh, anything that's filling, carbs. And who knows how many of them are GMOs? Probably all of it. Which are causing problems in which, people. Which they're happy about because if they can get the poor to drop dead, and the homeless to drop dead, there they'll be even more happier. Basically, that is one of the objects. The culling of the herd. Yeah. Okay, uh, so anyway, getting back to this, how the hell is a panhandler, who is most likely flat broke and homeless, how are they going to afford to get a permit? So they can either do one of two things. They can apply to whatever chicken feed social services are left and not be able to live on it, or they can get uh, arrested for panhandling without a permit, which they cannot afford, 
and live off the garbage in jail. Uh, the ACLU is right. It is unconstitutional. Well, not only that, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's un, un, ungodly. It's unbiblical because the Bible says very clearly that those who have two coats should be giving them to the poor. And, and, and those that have farms should be giving a percentage to the poor in terms of food. Yes, they're supposed to leave the part of the harvest around the around your corners, mm -hmm. so that the poor and the motherless and the fatherless and the, the everybody can go in there and fill their bellies. And the brothers from another mother, <laughs> Mr. Hurricane. Oh, Kane. Yeah. Was that Godfather Pizza? Godfather Pizza. I want to give a big, humongous, gargantuan, Whoa. colossal Whoa. salute to Jesse, the body, and the governor Ventura. He has his own official Facebook page, not not the not just the one from True TV, the show Conspiracy Theory, which I think is operated by True <coughs> TV, which I don't trust because it's really not True TV. They just want ratings. For their, for their for their sponsors, Jesse Aventura. Now that he has uh, given a hint that I believe he will run in 2016 with Howard Stern as his uh, Howard Stern vice presidential running mate. Yeah, well, Howard Stern is a smart cookie man. He pulls no punches. He no. All kidding aside, Howard Stern is a smart cookie. He is, and he's a, and he's got a good heart too. You know. Well, yeah. Tell, tells it like it is. However, but they're running on as libertarians. I would hope they would run as independents, like the Reform Party or something like that. But eh, libertarians. I would hope we got rid of parties. Parties are the problem. Yeah. But as John Adams it, said it's called Jesse Ventura's official Facebook page. Uh -huh. Good luck to you, Jesse. Um, Jesse has a new book out. He was. He was here in Barnes and Noble yes, sometime, he yes, he having was. a signing. I don't know which day. It's which, over with. I, I don't know which Barnes. It, it most likely had to be either Clifton or the one in Paramus. Paramus. The big the biggie, one. The biggie. The biggie. Could you imagine how packed that Barnes and Noble w would be mm -hmm. when he is there? I mean, what, what, what do you what do you get to say to the guy? You know, maybe like a few words because they're just the, a few with the jabronis breathing down your yeah, neck. That's correct. Move on, move on. Yeah, move on. I move ain't on. got all day. Not realizing that James P. Madonna is probably the best person from mainstream that he could possibly have a conversation with instead of those other bums. Just like the time I called uh, Gary No on a Sunday. And I had to get, I got rushed along because of these, these, <clears throat> these ham and eggers that were uh, waiting to speak to Gary. <clears throat> and yes, when they spoke to Gary, uh, I'd say about 75% of them were momos. Mm -hmm. Mama Luke's was, was trivial, boring questions. Not super dynamic like yours truly. All right, let me continue. Super dynamic, you hear that? Progressive Radio Network. And I, you can take that to the bank and put it in your pipe and smoke it. Because I'll back up everything I say, brother. Okay. <clears throat> Endorsing, we are officially... Oh, where's my shillelagh? We are officially... Um, and this will be in the title of the first video. We here at Newsletter Censored and Omega Life 21 uh, are officially endorsing Democratic candidate for governor of New Jersey, Barbara Buono. I know I am, and I'm very proud of the way she handled uh, uh, Chris Christie in the debate at William Patterson College, I believe it was. She was tough. She was very tough, and she, she kept on mentioning taxing the rich, which I'm very proud of her for doing. She's got a lot of gumption, man, and I wish her luck, and I'm very happy that she was tough. And I will vote for Barbara Bono. Not Sonny Bono, but Barbara Bono. Hold on. These are the levity bells. 
By the way... All kidding aside, I, I am endorsing her. Yes. By the way, as I mentioned before the show, a new study came out from one of the big uh, world banks or whatever. Yeah. That only 10% of the people in the world own 86% of the wealth whilst the other 90% of people in the world own only 14% of the wealth. Gee, thank you, capitalism. There you go. Thank you, capitalism, and all the uh, right-wing teabagger trolls that try to get under my skin on Facebook. There, There is your capitalism for you. Nice, isn't it? How well it works. How well it works if you if you are blessed with a lot of loot, then you have the American dream. But if you're you're not blessed with loot, which happens to, since the system is rigged, that whole concept of pull yourself up by the bootstraps ah. and, 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 and create your own success is very, very rare in reality. Well, it actually does not work. It's, it's never, never wanted to work because... They all got breaks. Well, not breaks. Capitalism, as I keep telling everybody. I mean, it's not... A, why is it so hard to grasp? It doesn't trickle down. Capitalism works for those who have capital. It siphons up, yeah. So, so, so it's, it's like I keep saying. If you want to play Monopoly, you got four people in Monopoly. So let's just give one guy four times the moolah that the other three people have. Who's going to win that game? The one with four times the moolah. Because he's well, at... that's he, capitalism. Because he or she is at a huge advantage. That's correct. And, and, you know, if you're at a huge advantage, it's like... It's like when a snowball is rolling down a, a snow-covered mountain and there's an avalanche and the snowball is getting bigger and bigger. When that snowball is big... There's, there's not a chance in hell that that snowball is going to be stopped once, it, once it attains, you know, supersonic su speed. Supersonic speed at at a, at a, a massive size. I mean, once you, once you're steamrolling over your competition, and because you're at a great advantage, like for instance, a second generation rich kid with a silver spoon in his mouth yeah. that was trained by his father, like Donald Trump. Gee, uh, didn't we have someone who actually was president like that? Who was, well, G.W. Bush, I believe it was. Yep. Silver Spooner. Silver Spooner. Yeah. Okay, getting back to the uh, campaign for governor of New Jersey between Democrat Barbara Bono and Chris Christie, uh, the cucumber, I mean the incumbent, is that what they call the incumbent? Yeah, they, the moving yard. The mo Eggplant? Yeah, the other cucumber. The incumbent, I'm rather. Chris Christie. Actually, he's more pear shaped, isn't he? No, he or is. is apple he shape? is an apple. Apple, yeah. He's a, an apple or maybe um, a, cant a cantaloupe. Morphologically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Either mold spores or ragweed. But I took an Allegra today, so. Anyway, getting back to Crispy Christie. <laughs> to Crisco. Crispy Cream. Crispy Cream. Crisco Christie. His campaign commercials here in New Jersey claims that he achieved so much through bipartisanship, mm. which I tend to doubt. And he also claims that he has the support of the unions. What? Not what? the union of teachers. What? <laughs> I have never known a union to support a Republican. Well, they do at their own peril, that's for certain. I mean, I don't believe this could be a Chris Christie lie about oh. be, uh, getting the support of the unions. Chris Christie wouldn't lie, would he? Stronger than a storm, baby! He's stronger than a storm. You see... Yeah, well, he's using Hurricane's uh, Tropical Storm Sandy, just like G.W. Bush used the Twin Towers coming down. Yeah. To try to make it like he's a hero. We're going to go get them people that knock these towers dead down. Dead or alive. The sign in the Old West. Dead or alive. We're going to go get them people that knock these towers down. That, that, in roundabout way, that's what he said. He tried to make it in very 
simple layman's terms as he wore a uh, no tie, no suit, he wore like a windbreaker jacket or something. With a megaphone. Yeah, we're gonna go get these people that knock these towers down. And guess what? What? As time goes by, we're finding out that it wasn't them who knocked the tower down. Yeah. False flag. Inside job. Etc. Etc. And then, and then I, I read something that said G.W. Bush was not exactly friends with Dick Cheney. I don't know how true that is. Who well, cares? They did what they did. What well, they did. You can be in business together and not like each other. Now, he wasn't in business with Cheney. He was in business with the Saudi Arabians. Which Osama bin Laden just happened to be. Did you see him walking around and there in Saudi Arabia one time holding the hand and the of the... Uh, whatever the you know title of the guy was the king I don't think it was the king it was probably someone else but he's still walking around holding hands with the guy well, that's how that's how you get um, a Republican to be that affectionate uh, when, it, when it comes to money I have a theory you know they're all I Saudis have a theory. <laughs> Republicans are deficient in oxytocin <laughs> which is the hormone which allows mommies to love their babies, men to love women, etc., us to love doggies and caddies and whatever. Oxytocin. I just think they're demonically um, controlled. Well, that's the, uh, that's the influence of their uh, policies. But I'm saying, I think the person themselves, because they lack altruism. They lack compassion. Right. They lack feelings for anybody, and I don't think it is even based on feelings, mm -hmm. but anybody that is not like them. Yeah. Okay. Like a redneck. Like, like a racist redneck. If you're not like them, they hate you. You're no good. Yeah. They are... Uh, and they'll turn on you in a moment, so if you do uh, something wrong, the, uh, you know, from their point of view. They, so, it's not based on oxytocin. They lack empathy, too. They lack empathy, compassion, and, uh, uh, you know, getting along stuff. And that's why I think they have difficulties with their women. And why the women are second class. And why they are, should be in the kitchen. Well, and barefoot and pregnant. Well, aren't uh, hardliner uh, uh, Muslims uh, that way towards their women? Well, And they're, yeah, they're considered right-wing fundamentalists. Yes, they're they are. Yes, Just like the, the, the evangelical uh, zealot cr Christians in America. They're, and they're prosperity uh, preachers. Yeah, yeah, they talk about... Isn't it funny how the Republicans just love the prosperity preachers? Yeah. Because money, can, everything comes yeah. down to money. And money going to those who are deserving of it. Well, That's the cover they in, use. In their minds. That's in their, their perception. But the real Bible doesn't say 